today I will be talking to you about our chapter on text mining and web mining. The learning outcomes from this chapter are describe text mining and the need for text mining, differentiate among text analytics, text mining and data mining, discuss the different application areas for text mining, describe the process of carrying out a text mining project, recognize the different methods to introduce structure to text based data, describe sentiment analysis, develop familiarity with popular applications of sentiment analysis and discuss the common methods for method for sentiment analysis. What is text mining? Text mining is the process of finding patterns or useful information from large amounts of unstructured data sources. What is the dif difference between data mining and text mining? Both of them seek for novel and useful patterns. Both are semi-automated processes, differences in the nature of the data. For data mining, the nature of data is structured as you find in a database. For text mining, the nature of the data is unstructured as you find in Word documents, PDF files, text excerpts, XML files and so on. In text mining, you first impose structure to the data, then mine the stru structured data. There are several benefits of text mining, for example, in law, court orders, in academic research, in finance, quarterly reports, in medicine, discharge summaries in biology, molecular interactions, technology in patent files, marketing in customer comments, etc. Next we will be talking about the application areas of text mining, which are information extraction, topic tracking, summarization, categorization, clustering, concept linking and question answering. In information extraction, we identify key phrases and relationships within text. In topic tracking, this is based on documents that the user views. Text mining can predict other documents of interest. Summarization relates to summarizing a document to save time on the part of the reader. Categorization is helpful in identifying the main theme of the document and placing it in a predefined set of categories. Clustering is grouping of similar documents without having a predefined set of categories. Concept linking relates to connecting related documents by identifying their shared concepts. And question answering is finding the best answer to a given question through pattern matching. Next, we will be going over some of the text mining terms unstructured versus structured data. Unstructured means non-specific format text and structured data is predetermined format database. Corpus. A large and structured set of texts prepared for conducting knowledge discovery. Terms. A term is a single word or multi-word phrase exact extracted directly from the corpus by natural language processing. Concepts are features generated from a collection of documents by statistical rule based manual methods. Stemming the process of reducing inflected words to their base or root. Stop words are noise words filtered out prior to processing of text. Then uh, synonyms are and polysemes or homonyms. Synonyms are identical meanings such as movie, film, motion picture and polysemes or homonyms they spell same but different meaning such as a bow or weapon or front of the ship. 
it can be a bend or it can be a hair bow lastly tokenizing a token is a block of text in a sentence the assignment of meaning to blocks of text is called tokenizing then we have term dictionary which is a collection of terms specified to a narrow field word frequency that is the number of times a word is found in a document part of speech tagging that is marking of words in a text as nouns verbs adjectives etc morphology that studies the internal structure of words term by document matrix relationships between terms and documents singular value decomposition this is a method to reduce the term by document matrix to a manageable size next we will be talking about text mining applications marketing applications enables better customer relationship management by analysis of customer comments blogs call center data etc security applications uh, enables deception detection medicine and biology identifies molecular interactions in academic applications this is very becoming text mining is becoming very popular in academics where it can help better retrieval of data next is the text mining process input is text and database output context specific knowledge used for decision making controls also called constraints are software hardware limitations privacy issues difficulties related to the processing of texts mechanisms will be techniques and software tools the primary purpose of text mining is to process unstructured or textual data along with structured data if relevant and available to extract meaningful and actionable patterns for better decision making some of the commercial text mining software tools are spsss text miner sas enterprise miner clearforest.com it offers text analysis and visualization tools IBM Intelligent Miner Data Mining Suite includes data and text mining tools Tableau such as data visualization software and by the way we will be using Tableau in this class later on in the assignments Next we will be talking about web mining Web mining is the process of discovering intrinsic relationships from web data web content mining is extraction of useful information from web pages web crawlers are used to read through the content of a website automatically web structure mining is the process of extraction of useful information from the links embedded in the word documents then web usage mining this is the extraction of useful information from data generated through web pages through web page visits and transactions three types of data are generated through web page visits one is called logs another is user profiles and then metadata such as usage data page attributes etc
we will also talk about click stream analysis this is analysis of the information collected by web servers that can help us better understand user behavior analysis of this data is called click stream analysis click stream analysis can help in several ways for example useful for knowing when visitors access a site for example if a company knew that 70% of the software downloads from its website occurred between 7 pm and 11 pm it would plan for better customer support and network bandwidth during those hours lastly we will be talking about sentiment analysis what is sentiment analysis and how does it relate to text mining sentiment analysis tries to answer the question what do people feel about a certain topic by digging into opinions of many using a variety of automated tools it is also known as opinion mining subjectivity analysis and appraisal extraction sentiment analysis shares many characteristics and techniques with text mining however unlike text mining which categorizes text by conceptual taxonomies of topics sentiment classification generally deals with two classes positive versus negative a range of polarity or a range in strength of opinion now what are the sources of data for sentiment analysis common data sources for sentiment analysis include opinion rich internet resources such as social media outlets twitter facebook etc online review sites personal blogs online communities chat rooms news groups and search engine logs for many companies customer call center transcripts emails product reviews price comparison portals provide another rich source of sentiment data some of the popular sentiment analysis applications are customer relationship management or crm customer experience management are popular voice of the customer voc applications other application areas include voice of the market voem and voice of the employee voe this is all about the chapter on text mining web mining and sentiment analysis thank you